Welcome back everybody. Here we are in the Bahamas with the PA-31 Navajo. We're at Rock Sound and we're going to embark on a 44 nautical mile trip to North Eleuthera. Let's have a look at the map. So for reference purposes there's Nassau out to the west of the map. We are over here in the lower center of the map at Rock Sound. We're going to be flying northwest for 44 miles to North Luthra. Wind today is uh, easterly so we'll be taking off on uh, runway 09 at Rock Sound uh, and landing on 07 at North Luthra. Uh, dividing 44 by 7, about 6 is the answer, so uh, 6,000 feet will be our uh, cruising altitude. And 63 is 18, means uh, when we're 18 miles away from North Luthra, we'll be commencing our descent. So 6,000 feet. So let's jump into the trusty and excellent Carinado Navajo PA-31, Piper PA-31. All right, let's get some um, power on the aircraft. The electric DC horizon has uh, spun up. Our passenger doors are closed. Seatbelt signs on, no smoking on. Exit lights on. Anti collision beacon on. Position lights on. The magneto is on, the left engine, right engine. Check our fuel quantity above half on the, the main tanks. And uh, we've got mixture full rich. So we're going to just boost uh, with uh, three seconds of fuel pump on each engine. Bring the mixture to lean check we're all clear and we're going to start the the right engine get that mixture up the engine sustaining and now we'll start the left engine Right, we've got our engines running. We'll set uh, about a thousand RPM with a, a leanish mixture, and we'll uh, start the alternating alternators, the charging system, and now we'll bring the avionics on. Okay, so the codes for today's flight are MYER to MYEH. So let's put that in our nav system. There we are, 331 degrees, 44 and a half nautical miles. Our taxi 
emergency light on. Make ignition lights on. Windshield pitot heat. And our fuel pumps on. Uh, it's a flapless takeoff. So uh, let's uh, taxi out to runway uh, 09. Fairly long backtrack today. in range, other trims are centered, cow flaps are open. Piston engine aircraft of course today, two six cylinder engine, Lycoming engines. These are turbocharged engines, so they maintain uh, full high manifold pressure even at cruising altitude. We're cruising at 6,000 feet today, and we'll uh, use the autopilot for. Uh, Part of the climb out and uh, level off and cruise and the initial part of the descent. Taking off to the east, there'll be a left turn after takeoff. One, two, three, three, one. We are we are heading. Mixture rich. 
rotate at 95 knots. to climb, gear up. Pilot on. Now we can set our uh, OBS from runway heading to our uh, actual course. Three, three, one, and we'll set our heading bug. Accept our uh, course here before we turn on to our outbound heading. There's the GPS mode engaged. We see the heading uh, the desired track is out to our left. So uh, we've got about a uh, 25 degree intercept angle here. Passing 3000, climb to 6000. Just press heading mode. We can lower the nose a little bit to uh, give us about a thousand feet per minute on the climb. See our tracks coming in here. So we can manually uh, bring us around on our intercept heading. And then we can actually press nav and it will do it for us. Light up the instruments a bit, it was a bit gloomy there before. So we're now on a track to the north of Luthera, on climb passing four and a half thousand feet. Here's the passenger window, nice day today. thousand to go. There's no automatic level off the autopilot in this aircraft so you have to uh, take care of it manually. Basically when we've got about uh, 300 feet to go reduce the rate of climb down from a thousand or so to just below 500 feet per minute so the level off is a bit smoother. feet to go, so just nose down the uh, pitch attitude on the autopilot. See the rate of climb is dropping now, uh, give that another couple of clicks. And just as we come up to 6 
6,000 on the altimeter. I'll press altitude to hold. There we go. You see alt is enunciated there. Climb reduces to zero. The autopilot does a great job in this aircraft. And uh, we'll bring the manifold pressure back now. You can see at the moment we're burning uh, about 33 gallons per hour per engine. We'll be able to reduce that down to nearly half, to, to 18. So, uh, we've got a ground speed of 183 knots. 184 knots. Now uh, we'll bring the um, manifold pressure back to 30 inches. And we'll bring the propellers back to 23. Now we bring the mixture back uh, to 18 inches, uh, sorry, 18 gallons per hour, uh, or 1425 degrees uh, on the exhaust gas temp. Pull those mixture levers back. You see the EGT exhaust gas temp will uh, rise as the amount of fuel going in cylinders is reduced. 18 gallons per hour and on the digital display here you can see the uh, cylinder head temps are increasing this would be a good time to close the cow flaps on the other side of the aircraft to give us a bit of extra speed reduce the, reduce the uh, drag Right, so the GPS is giving us nine minutes to run, estimated time on route uh, remaining. Uh, and remember, six times three, 18 means about 18, maybe 20 miles out, we'll uh, commence our descent to 1500 feet. So we're in a few minutes of uh, relaxation here in the cockpit, we can uh, turn some lights off. Seatbelt signs can come off as well. And uh, the fuel pump's on now, we're atop a climb here, and we can actually move the fuel selectors to the outboard tanks, so any available for level level flight. So we've got an extra set of tanks that are three quarters full for use in the, in the cruise. I changed the scale on the GPS, we can see. Uh, to the right is Governor's Harbour coming up and beam us and our destination uh, straight ahead. Let's have a look uh, at the other side. It's actually a bit cloudy actually to see anything at the, the moment. We may not see uh, Governor's Harbour today. One of the many airports around the islands of the Bahamas. actually have a top of descent calculator here um, target. There it is. We can bring our uh, manifold pressure back to 28 degrees, 28 inches I should say. And uh, we can go full ridge. Fuel pumps are on. Back to the main uh, tanks. And then we can 
and start heading down. Take the altitude hold off and start our descent. So we're saying currently uh, 750 feet per minute is required. So we'll run a little bit more than that. We'll just uh, tweak that a little bit. So we're going to be landing 07 to the northeast. The plan is to overfly the airfield and make a left turn onto 250 and do a left hand circuit and land on 07. Beautiful view out the uh, front over the nose there. Temps, RPM should be happy at 2350, manifold pressure 28, we'll reduce that to 26 as we get to the circuit. Uh, keep an eye on the vertical speed required, about 800 feet per minute. Uh, we need to increase that a little bit actually, otherwise we'll be arriving a little bit high. Uh, and again, we've got exhaust gas temps about 1000 degrees here, and the cylinder head temps below 400. We're all looking pretty good. Fuel flow uh, a little bit higher now that we've got a full rich, uh, about 20 gallons per hour per side.
Chinese airstrip just uh, just below us here. And we'll give it about uh, 15 seconds on the clock before we turn uh, downwind. base about you but the air feels pretty hazy in the distance so I'm going to uh, make my best judgment on the base to final turn here there it is in the clearing at about 11 o'clock Three greens and ninety five knots. Second stage of flat. And put the propellers to fine pitch. Lights are on. Interesting approach through the trees. At a ground speed of just under 90 knots, which should give us a 450, or we're aiming for 450 feet per minute, uh, which is what we've got. Keep us on the uh, three degree glide slope. There's no instrument landing system here, but I'm just eyeballing it, and I'm also using the uh, slightly obscured puppy lights to the left of the airstrip.
Let's go Luthra. And we'll just pull up uh, outside this little terminal building here. Parking brake on. Avionics off. And make sure to cut off. Get our passenger door open. And uh, in the cockpit, we just need to uh, turn a few things off here, including the seatbelt signs. Magnetos and uh, then finally the uh, batteries alternators and batteries and that's just the sound of the electric gyros running down Well, thanks for joining me on the flight in the PA-31 Navajo. We'll see you next time.